guys checking this out here? This is Yosemite National Park. It is amazing out here. It's sheer granite rock faces, waterfalls flowing over those, and pine trees and snow everywhere. We're here in the winter time and it is gorgeous. It's awesome because there's not a lot of people here, but that also means that some of the more strenuous hikes and everything like that are covered with ice and snow, and a lot of the roads are closed. So while we're here, we're gonna go and visit about three or four smaller hikes to see all of the very scenic places you can see inside of Yosemite, at least the ones we can get to during the winter time, and we cannot wait to show you guys what this place looks like. Come along for the journey, let's do this. From the road, you could only see that mist up there, and you never really got to see where it went to. But on this hike, obviously, it goes all the way down, so that's where we're going. Let's go see what it is. No covered. Not gonna get that in the summertime. Well, maybe you will. I don't know how high it is, but it's pretty cool now anyway. All right, hike one is officially in the books. I would give it on a scale of one to awesome, an awesome. <laughs> Go. All right, on hike number two, we are going that away. Hike number two, finito. <laughs> On to number three, right? Yep, number three. Let's go. Hey everybody, welcome to hike number three. It is Bridal Falls, and we're gonna go there right now. just in time for the rainbow. About five minutes after we got there, the rainbow was completely gone. But we got so. the photos to prove it, so. Yay, that was a really successful last hike. Yeah, that um, was fun. We decided that we're only gonna do three today, um, just because we wanted to kind of enjoy our time at each one. 
and we're glad that we did. It was a really good order. Yeah. And yeah, I feel like that was a really successful trip to Yosemite. Yeah, your so, first time. Yeah, it was very, very awesome. Come on, jump, come on, jump, jump, come on, jump. <laughs> Good. Good. Let mama have a seat. You let daddy have a seat. Give me a Roni. Oh. oh, goodness. <laughs> Today is family day, and you guys don't get to see this very often. Actually, we don't show this on the YouTube channel, but usually what we do when we go to a national park or a destination of some sort, uh, the hikes that we go on, the dogs aren't allowed on. So we have to unfortunately leave them where they are in the RV, give them food and water and all that stuff, um, and then bring them out on another day, which we like to call family day. So we just, it's a day kind of devoted to letting the dogs explore and have fun and yeah. Yeah, so as you know, with some of the national parks, the reason why we have to leave them at home sometimes is because a lot of the hikes are very strenuous and some of the trails just are not, dogs are not a lot out, allowed on them for whatever reason. So, and there's also predators. Yeah, which... so for different reasons, safety, ecosystem, all that kind of stuff, there's a lot of places in national parks that dogs aren't allowed to go. Yes. But since we're doing this um, RV traveling, we love to see you know everything that a park has to offer. Unfortunately, just sometimes the dogs can't come along. Chase. So that's why we do. Don't be bashful. Chase, <laughs> come on, come on, come on, don't be bashful. Oh, there he is. That's kind of why we do cool. family day, so that the dogs can smell all the smells and see everything there is oh. to see as well. Oh. Um, oh, and they so love it. Are you having a good time? Yes. You know what they want to go on? They want to go on a, you want to go on a walk? A walk? Do you want to go on a walk? I want to walk. Come on, let's go, right, let's go on a walk. Please. Really fun. Time to get to work. Yep. Let's go edit this bad boy. That's Jenny slipping and falling while trying to take photos of ducks. <laughs> <laughs> 